Ah, oh, game tricked me. I think it's, uh, it's done that in the past because of uh, that was the one thing. It's like try and get the carpet without paying for it, and then it's like here's a prompt to pay for it. It's like oh okay, that was easy. Seems familiar. And then yeah, no. Who's that ghost person who's just pointing at things? Oh, is that- wait, is that my wife? Is that my dead wife? <laughs> just helping me? Mentor. Welcome. Okay, one second, I want to see something. Can I throw money? No, I can't. I'm sorry, dude. Shh. I'll give you something if I can- get him killed. No, not yet. I do pretty well. What is with your cape? Come on. Come at me, bro. Nothing without that artifact. Nothing. Probably not. You pathetic miser. Stand down or die. There you go. Follow me to the castle, and spill no blood if you can help it. I did better the last time, but oh well. I can't run. I'm trying. Oh boy, am I trying. <laughs> oh boy. I'm guessing you're not going to be walking up and down the cell much, eh? Cat, eh? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, getting a look at that cliff, that's even more impressive. <laughs> That, that person succeeded in that. Yeah, that's my wife. Okay. Good, good. You are my next I'll target. <sighs> Two decades have passed since we last saw you within these walls. And I'm gonna kill you. Unless we could use your wisdom. Now more than ever. Yeah. And Madrid's under our control. Okay. Let's do this. Yay! You've been promoted. Yay! More assassins to dens. Can I skip cinematic? Uh, no. Kill him! Kill him now! You're looking good for your 80s, bro. What are you waiting for? You fools! He has bewitched you! Our mentor has returned! Okay, disarm, not kill. Got it. My respect, mentor. Thank you. I fight for you. For the order. Come on. There we go. Mentor. <laughs> Welcome home. Come on. Yay! Altair. You die. I'm just gonna take all your weapons. Come on. Altair. I like how quickly you back down the second I take your weapon. Die! Oh. So I'm guessing that dude was just supposed to die. Yeah, back up for me. Ah, my babies. I'm an A to your man who's kicking your butts just by walking. <laughs> Welcome back, mentor. mentor. Thank you. Tell your men to stand down. No! I am defending Masha. Would you not do the same? You corrupted everything we stand for and lost everything we gained. All of it sacrificed on the altar of your own spite. And you! You have wasted your life staring into that apple, dreaming of your own glory. That is true, Abbas. I learned many things from the apple, of life and death, of the past and the future. Let me show you. Come down here, bro. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh! I got a gun? That's cheating! <laughs> I can never forgive you, Altair. The lies you told about my family, my father, the humiliation I suffered. They were not lies, Abbas. 
I was ten years old when your father came to see me. He was in tears, begging to be forgiven for betraying my family. Then he cut his own throat. I watched his life ebb away at my feet. I will never forget that image. No! But he was not a coward, Abbas. He reclaimed his honor. I hope there is another life after this one. Then I will see him and know the truth of his final days. And when it is your time, we will find you. And then there will be no doubts. Here we go. Mentor's return. Full sink, yeah. 82 year old Altier bringing a gun to a knife fight. Oh boy. Anything to say about that, Ezio? An old man, and still he fought to hold our brotherhood together. I would have called him stubborn in my youth, but now. I can only admire his courage. The assassins were his life, from beginning to end. He had no other. Okay. Well, there's that. Oh, I can run again. Yes, and also since we're here, we might as well send out everyone who came in. Thanks to you, we grow ever strong. I hope so. Successful, successful, lots of the successful, so... Um... So I know when I can level up. Three minutes, minutes, minutes. Okay, there's no, like, seconds again. Every once in a while. Um... You're at 50 now. You're at 50. Good. Jania, Jerusalem, Lisbon... Madrid. Oh, we really need to work on Madrid. Um, score a chest. Madrid. Oh, following orders. Madrid, just following orders. Part one. Yeah. Grand Inquisitor Sanados has continued his predecessor's bad habit of persecuting assassins for crimes unrelated to our activities. Recently, we've been blamed for Russian murders of cardinals. Find the true culprits and bring them to justice. Let's send you two out. Get some things going. That'll bring 15. Sing Templar ships. Um. One of these guys can be. It's gonna be leveling up. I don't know. I think it might have been him. I think he might have been the one that just leveled up too. Um, I guess I need to work on Marcel now. Yeah, let's do this. Go. Bring in some stuff. Steal horses. Um, steal victory. Organize riot. I think it's steal victory. Go. Do it. And I think, if I am thinking correctly, we can now do one more uh, assassin's den? Oh, I might have sent out the bro. Oh well. I guess for all intents and purposes we should head and do story now. Yeah, let's go do story. Um, if I remember how to get to the tunnel. Yeah, there it is. HQs are always so confusing to get around. I don't know why. Um, go ahead. Down. Wait, yeah, it was all the way down here. Yeah, that one. That's the one I need to head to. Let's go do a story. Been a bit. It's been a while since we've done some story. Working on side stuff. Okay. Um, how is 
Ooh, we could use some more arrows, but otherwise we're actually doing pretty good. So, oh, oh! Essios discovered the location of the Templar army, but has killed an innocent man in the process. Speak with. I killed an innocent man. Speak with Solomon about the tragedy. Oh, right, that innocent man. Okay. That is interesting that I entered the second I go into infiltrate unseen. Oh. That's why it's remained restrictive this entire time. Okay, well. I have snuck through here more times than you guys realize, so. Um. There's some guards right there. I think I will be good. They're kind of oblivious for... For, uh, you know... Oh, I can't kill anyone. Oh, you don't have a path. Also, I did not see the guard way over there, though. Just run this way. Like I said, these guards are kind of oblivious. Oh, oh no. Nope. You are doing fine. I'm okay with you being oblivious when it comes to me. Um, how far do I have to go? There's a guard right there. So, try to not jump down. Oh. Moves like a lion. Alright, then. Thank you. Oh, we have to go right there. I have brought some girls to cheer you up as well. <laughs> they perform very well. They are wonderful dancers. Hello. We messed up. Tarek was not traitor, Suleiman. He too was tracking the Byzantines. What? So did you... I'm sorry. God forgive me. You should not have been so quick to judge. He was loyal to your grandfather to the end. And through his efforts, we have the means to save your city. Tarek, you should not have been so secretive. What a terrible way to do a good thing. The weapons were taken to Cappadoce. Can you get me there? Yes, of course. I will arrange a ship to take you. Oh, the sad music. Suleiman! Suleiman! I have been set up and made to look a traitor. Do you remember Tarek, the Janissary? The man you quarreled with? He has been murdered. It is no secret that he and I were at odds. Now the Janissaries will accuse me of this crime. This is terrible news, uncle. Oh. When Mort gets back to my father, he will banish me from the city. Ah, forgive me, nephew. I was not aware that you had a guest. This is Marcello, one of my European advisors in Cafe. Buonasera. <laughs> Marcello, my nephew and I have a private matter to discuss. As I said, there will be a ship waiting for you when you wish to leave. <laughs> Grazie, mio principe. You! We will track down the perpetrator of this crime, uncle. Have patience. Okay, if I remember correctly, we kind of spread out the story over a uh, long period of time, but. We. Oh, stay right there! Nope. You saw nothing! Okay, now that I'm hidden away. If I remember correctly, we were supposed to, or not supposed to, but he did not like his uncle, right? That was what was happening here? Wait, can we go look it up? We can look up what it says about the uncle. Um, so did he have us go kill that dude? So it would make his uncle look bad? Was there an alternative motive? Because that would make sense. Why am I only having two target ones? And then, ah! Um, 
Mira Thorpe, I don't think. I forgot what everyone's name was. Contacts. I don't remember who the uncle was. Oh, here. <laughs> oh, Subject 16's in here. Society, Ottomans, Genissaries, Doctors, Mercenaries, Romanis, Tailors. It's just, just, uh... Yeah, it's just those. Who was... Prince Solomon? Oh, is that his uncle? Yeah, I think this is the uncle. By the time he was a young man, Prince Amat was already the presumed heir to the Ottoman Empire, had been chosen by his own father, Bayezid, to assume the throne. To many, this made perfect sense. Amat was a grateful and loyal son who shared his father's estates for war and his affection for esoteric knowledge, but to others, those who viewed Amat's traits as weakness, he was a sad symbol of the ruling power of the sultan Sultanate. And as such, he appeared to many Ottoman officials being capable of adapting himself to the requirements of the throne. Sultan's own genissaries were quite vocal about their dislike for the would-be Sultan, and openly questioned his fitness as a leader. Would he protect the empires as with duty? Would he wage war against Maliks to the south and Safavids to the east? Would he expand the boundaries of the empire as God had decreed? Um, at some point around 1510, Amat's youngest brother, Salman, with a silent support of genissaries, made an overt bid for the throne, marching a small army towards Constantinople. Expecting to meet resistance, to Amat's great relief, his father Bayezid stopped, stepped in and stopped Salman's advance, but the old Sultan was sickly and his many people thought incapable of sustaining an internecine war as mad and tragic as the one he was shaping up to be. Oh, I have a feeling this might be a, a setup. Because, yeah. Um, does it say who his father was? I don't think so. Uh, that's Salman, he was still a young boy. By the time Salman was 17, however, Bayezid had recognized his grandson's talents and intelligence and installed him as governor. He would hold a number of solid petitions until 1520. Petition he could hold for no pacifist would. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if he's doing something for his father. And there was no terror. Oh, hi! Escape the area. So run this way? Okay. Can I even jump out this way, or am I going into bad waters? No, oh, I can. I mean, like, by bad waters, I mean, am I gonna be taken out of the map if I jump? Um, I'm up here. Oh, I'm up here. Okay. Where is the next quest? Oh, I need to leave the area before the next quest can come in. Right. So, really, I just need to do this. Oh, that's a fast one. Okay. So, where do I need to go now? Um, just over there. Okay. Cool. And I don't see any other story things, so I guess we're gonna leave Constantinople for a little bit. And go on a ship. We did it. We killed no one. Um. Right. I forgot about that about this harbor, about them having a uh, long chain that goes across it so ships, ship unwanted larger <laughs> ships cannot come in and out. Like war vessels. Right. That is a good idea. <laughs> It's not, it's not perfect, but it's useful. Like many other things. Uh, <laughs> it's not a good idea, or it's not the best idea, so I wish I word that. Or did that. Um, okay. I might as well just continue on doing the story. Oh, okay. Just took some money. No big deal. It's a bank. I don't want a bank, I want a blacksmith like up there. Oh, okay, we're gonna get yelled in a second. I do not run. Uh, you won't get away. I will get away. I will any who Hello, Genissaries. Do not honest. hurt me. I just want to buy a uh, shop in front of you. Oh, maybe not right in front of you. Yes, please. I need some uh, arrows. Please and thank you. 
1400 every 20 minutes. Not bad.